Hey guys, and welcome to week 25 of my devlog for Finding Home, the zombie uh, game I'm making. I'm just going to tab out because, uh, as always, this is the first Tuesday of the month. Um, and being the first Tuesday of the month, there's always new free assets. I always recommend picking these up. Um, just in case you're ever going to make a game or if you ever want to join me or anything like that. It's always, it's always good. It's just free assets and stuff. Uh, this week, again, I just hope to quickly go over them and uh, what they could be used for. Again, when you just click on the Unreal Engine tab, you could just uh, find them here in the marketplace. Um, they're usually just right down there, but if you, for some reason, didn't see it, you could always just go to the free section and the free for the month, and they're going to be right here. Uh, there's usually always one permanent free item that will come later on, but um, yeah, let's just quickly go over them. Um, so the custom shape volume, uh, Timmers has done a couple of free asset. I mean free items, so far. Like he did an open world uh, uh, spawner, and this is his second, I think, free asset that he's given, um, or that's been a part of the uh, free for the month. And this just does kind of what it says. It, Creates um, like cylinder like cylinder objects or uh, customizable volume shapes that you could edit. Um, so the dreamscape nature is just uh, like a cartoony kind of almost like Breath of the Wild's kind of uh, art style. Um, it's just a bunch of assets, so it's always good to have assets and stuff like that. So it pretty much just does a template sample kind of world for you gives you flowers, grass, trees, and stuff like that if you're going to try to build more of a, a stylized kind of world, I'd like to say, or cartoon kind of world. A lot of the people are going for that. Water, just in case if you need the water too. It's, it's a pretty pretty decent set if you um, for free if you are building that style or that uh, artistic style of game. Uh, the next one here is just for people who are doing magics or an RPG. This is uh, Magic Circles. This one here, um, I have uh, other products from this guy. He too has had a couple of different uh, assets now that have gone on the free for the free for the month. And this one is just a uh, it's allows you to change uh, the textures and generate new textures quite easily. Um, one of the samples that so it just shows you here by just putting certain things on this it allows you to change what the the outcome would look like um, like adding this line here or adding the logo here he just puts the logo stamp right in the center here and it's gonna add it here so it's kinda cool to add different unique see here he's adding like little cylinders but it's adding a texture map to the door to make it look more like sci-fi what one of the things that looks is that's really good with this is you could use it to make impressions and stuff on the road or add water to make some or, or even add grime and stuff like that like this this here was probably just a clear green um, metal roofing and then he added dirt to it with uh, the generator and so you could do a lot of cool things with it um, and then the last one here is a foliage plugin that allows you to convert foliage into actors. Now, why would you want foliage into actors? Um, saving and loading. I'm not too sure if that's what I would really be using it. But um, one of the big things is that foliage is one way to easily scatter objects that are attached to your landscape. And to be able to put that into an actor format allows you to. Um, stream them in with level streaming if you wanted to for example because it's an actor now so normally foliage is just always a part of the world because it's a part of the landscape um, another thing is yeah just uh, you could make it disappear reappear you could do a lot more it gives the, f the foliage a lot more uh, uh, example that acts so you could chop wood with it and stuff like that I'm still chopping wood with my trees um, but it does give you a lot more stuff that you could do um, to the foliage and uh, you could sometimes uh, just use other textures or, or sorry, other aesthetic meshes that aren't even foliage 
but use it as a foliage object and then turn it into an actor if you just wanted to quickly place a bunch of stuff down and um, and scatter it in different ways or randomized and then um, yeah, you could use a tool like this to turn it into an actor. Um, it is a plugin though and I'm not a big fan of plugins because if say if I pick this up this month for free and then somebody else wants to work on my game I try to pass them my files or whatever if they don't have this plugin then we run into complications so because um, then they'd have to buy the plugin because it's no longer free because it's only free for this month and maybe they didn't pick it up and again that's why I'm always suggesting to pick up the just pick up all the free stuff if you're ever thinking hey maybe I might uh, I might uh, make a game with Dan or, or, or join in or make a game my own just play around because the Unreal Engine is extremely fun and uh, when Unreal Engine 5 comes out it's just going to be that much more fun because it'll be easier just to throw in anything without having to worry about proficiency as much because you just switch all the objects to Nanite and it just loads it in like crazy. Alright so that being said that's done with the marketplace new assets for the week I believe let's move on to the game. Um, like I said, every week I'm packaging. Um, this week you won't see too much changes here. Uh, I have a bear. Uh, let's see, there was... Uh, there is a pig. And um, so I've been at just just pretty much doing the animals, making sure they drop stuff. I'm gonna change obviously what they drop to like skins and meat, but I just wanted to make sure my inventory manager was on them, so that they could drop stuff. Uh, yeah, so they're just dropping anything right now, like flashlights, uh, health potions, which wouldn't be. In, I'm not gonna have health potions. That's like a something that comes with. Uh, the template and again you still have all all these guys here if I wanted to go in and fight them alright so with the package that's all I kinda did was I just kinda threw in some animals and I'll go back to the game here and show you so like I said I threw in the pig threw in the goat we didn't see the goat I guess he ran off um, threw in the bear and I threw in a chicken and they all work the chicken probably ran off as well they all uh, are running but uh, if I go to ground zero my animals let's bring this up a bit so these are the animals that I I have so the bear I made two different uh, an aggressive bear and uh, so by default this bear is aggressive the other bear is not aggressive by default but can attack if he just sees you it just feels like attacking you it just it has like one of the options that it can choose and um, if it wants to attack you it can attack you but this is just straight up an aggressive bear if he sees you he'll go for you um, and again I could just place these in wherever or I could use a spawning volume um, boar I have the same thing aggressive and non aggressive chicken it's not aggressive it's just a chicken uh, you can kill that for for chicken meat good Male and female deer, um, eagle, frog, goat, Goliath is a fish. Um, I have a couple different types of, of fish, rabbits, uh, rats. So oh, you see, I got all these animals. They're all they're all in. They they work. Um, so what I'm moving on to next is what you can see here is I'm moving on to weapons. So if I play here, well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna move this back down here. Hit play. So as you can see, I got this axe that I have added into the game. It's well a hatchet. And if I uh, equip the hatchet, it goes on my back there. Um, tab. You can see it in my inventory. I can put it in my bag. I can put it. Could, um, I could hold it, right? Um, there's that bear over there. I'm gonna kill him before he decides to attack me. He just feel like attacking me. There we go. Um, 
and with the hatchet again if I equip it now that I have the weapons like I was saying before all the trees are interactable I'm doing it in a different way I'm using a component instead of having them as actors again I don't like plugins and yeah the tree falls we'll just keep gathering the wood it's a tree See, the tree already respawned, but obviously if uh, I could have uh, different respawn rates so that the trees uh, take like a day or something to respawn. Um, the big thing with the, the wood, obviously, is if I uh, hold the blueprint here. Um, remember, there's still that building that you could do. Oh. made it out. Uh, okay. That's rare. Anyway, um, let's uh, hold the blueprint. Um, yeah, let's still build a foundation. That's pretty good. Let's see. Um, wall. And again, that's why you would have, um, that's why I put the, the hatchet in. And, um, sit here, you damage the wall. Wall breaks, falls apart. Alright. Now, um, I did, uh, I, I've been hearing a couple of uh, family and friends that they that uh, a couple of my uh, a couple of people are taking programming in school and they think it's really cool that I'm making a game and they would like me to go over a couple of things on how I did stuff. For instance, uh, maybe even how uh, one of the things I was trying to think of to show today is um, the hatchet since I'm just making that now, right? How it has inventory depending on how you hold it or where you put it. Um, if I just go and equip it instead of holding it, how these icons here and how I made them is one of the one of the things I was going to go over. So I just put this this weapon in the game, and um, as you can see, I have the icons right here. So the way I'm going to be making a lot of like 2D art and stuff like that, because I'm not an artist, would be in-game. So um, one of the kits that I have has uh, an icon maker. See, I have um, the axe here. And if I go to... Textures, icon renders. So, how I would go about making uh, this texture, I just bake it and I choose its name. But before that, like, say if I wanted to make a new weapon here, say if I want to do modern. modern hatchet 
So now I have the modern hatchet there. Because it'll be one of the different variants of the hatchet that I'll be getting in there. Um, I'll be going back over to my rendering. Um, make sure I do not have alpha on. I want to be able to see it. Um, and when it's equipped, the size of my equipped image is 256 by 512. So I just do it, but it's, so it's 256 wide by 512 tall. As you can see, the axe, this axe is a little bit bigger or doesn't fit quite in the screen. So I could just change my size here, maybe 15 by 15 by 15. And let's just see. Oh, it's getting getting there. 14, 14, 14. Yeah, it looks like a this a pretty simple image. I could I could probably run with that, and um, so once I'm happy, I make sure that this and my render maker are the exact same um, size. Once that's the case, I go over to my icon maker, and I could call it Hatchet Modern Equip Icon and I could bake the texture and then I have my texture there and I'll move it over to my folder over here and then if I wanted to make like the icon that's in the quick slot for instance that's just uh, 64 by 64 so it's smaller um, obviously to fit the picture I'm gonna have to again edit this this axe here so I'm gonna go down to the skeleton mesh of the axe and maybe I'll keep this up for reference on the side here move this over and I'll go like 10 oh maybe six yes yeah, six by six by six and then it fits in my little my little square that's pretty decent for uh, for that if I wanted to lay the axe down or if I wanted the face horizontal I could just or maybe if I wanted a diagonal I could do something like that and uh, that way it's it looks different maybe um, and then again I would just make sure that in my renderer it's going to be 64 by 64 save them save that and then I would rename this to not equipment but quick slot so my quick slot icon and I could bake the image and I got my quick select icon and I moved that here and that's how I'll be making some of my just simple boom 2d assets right and then I think I'd have one more where it's in the Inventory, uh, you've seen it when it was standing up or horizontal. Um, so we'd just be using the inter inventory hatchet, um, which in this case I think I had it uh, 128. So it's two slots wide by one slot tall. And again, if that's the case, I'd want to um, either put it something like that, or I just want to go straight back up. With it, Josie, get Josie. Um, but I want to be doing that with the static mesh here, so not the camera. And then move it slightly, spring it up, center that, and um, yeah, it looks about good. I just make sure my render is the same. Put 128, 28, 128, save. Save. Go back to my icon maker and call this I N V for inventory. And I will pick that. Oh, move here. And then for here, I would add. And then I have to add an item. I have to add its. Um, here's an example of items that I have in my game um, 
So then I have to say what slots I can attach it to. I have to add the pictures in to and um, the, the static mesh of course I have to uh, give it equip animations uh, and unequip animations so it is a, a fairly lengthy process in the background but um, for the most part I'll be just doing some basic stuff just to get everything in there and then I'll be working from there um, so that was the first kind of thing of showing somebody of some of the some of the type of work I do um, but yeah it's uh, it's pretty fun um, just getting things in there and testing things around and uh, and then I have my and then for the most part then once you get the asset it's just almost as simple as just dragging them in and using them once you have everything set up uh, for building I will probably be using the blueprint just because I don't it's just the simplest way to know when to open the the interface for the user interface um, but again I'll take people's feedback and how this stuff to do how, how people want to do it with this interface you see at the top there um, so instead of you know leaning it's going to be using the raise and lower end of the building and instead of shooting it's going to allow you to place and drop stuff um, obviously it would be left and right shoulder for a controller um, X and s uh, circle and stuff like that and square to rotate but uh... yeah so this week I feel like uh, it doesn't look like I did much because I was working on getting all these animals in um, getting the hitboxes set up for the the bear. Oh, I have to change. I gotta move this forward. But I wanted to make sure so when the bear um, lunges at you, kind of just like pushes you back and he swipes at you. Let's see if uh, I can get him to attack me actually. So I wanted to. I was trying to fix up the bear's uh, animations, stuff like that. But just get something basic that worked. Because uh, since he's not like the wolves and stuff like that, oh, maybe I'll just throw in a, a, an aggressive bear. What am I thinking? Uh, animals, bear, aggressive. And then for the most part, once you have stuff in, you can just kind of toss them where you want them. Uh, bear, play. an aggressive bear. Let's turn him to face me. Rotation. Not see me. There we go. And then so yeah. Just wanted to make sure the testing it he could swipe me and kill me. A bunch of that stuff that I was doing. Originally, I had a, a hitbox problem that I had to get fixed because, unlike the wolves and stuff, he actually jumps up onto you. So, wanted to make sure that he could actually get on you. All right, I think that's all I had to show this week. And again, sorry for it being longer than usual, but since I don't have to worry about uh, upload times and in size so much anymore. I'm definitely more willing to show you guys more stuff, um, just like the 2D art and things like that. If you guys have any more questions or concerns, or if you don't like what you see or you have different ideas or stuff like that, as long as it's not too um, too sidetracking from getting things put in and just um, polishing it off, then um, I'll try to get try to get her done. But um, after I get the, so this week, I'll be trying to do melee weapons, getting the uh, melee weapons in. Next week, I might be trying to get uh, my rifles in. Uh, all these are weapons. Uh, they're all different types of guns. Uh, I could just give you a quick show 
again I got these assets from the store um, this is that This is one of the guns. Iron take. Right. We have we have a bunch of different types of guns though. Shotgun. So I'll be um, doing melee weapons first. And I, I, you guys have seen a, a bunch of the melee weapons last last week. Like the scythe and the uh, katana and stuff like that. This is one of the guns here. Um, and as you can see, the the guns have different skins to them too. That I, that I have. So I could um, make them different colors and stuff like that. Just like the hatchet, you see that I have the yellow, the modern version of the hatchet. I got a clean axe, and I have uh, stuff like that. And again, when uh, with the the axe, I do have blood and a bloody version of the materials too. If you're actually chopping away like a zombie or something, you want blood on the axe, and then uh, that's just again keeping it simple. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be adding the FX, uh, the major FX to this simple version where if you hit the tree wood and if you hit the ground dirt and if you hit like the different physics materials for every single asset whether you're splashing water concrete asphalt I don't know if I'm going to say that for the later on in the like when I get the big map in um, just so I can just focus on getting things out like I said so next week I hope to get weapons we get that I hope to get guns and after that is just again just level building um, build out the levels I already have um, a start on what levels I'm going to have in, and I'm just going to start editing them. So if I go to ground zero, I go to maps, I have a bunch of different maps here. Parking lots, offices, camps, city. Um, if I zoom out here, so the idea for this map is just pretty much you battle a military compound in here, military compound, a science facility, science facility with an underground subway track that connects underneath the mountain to a big city that will be over here. And then the city will be a big city, so I'll have it, that's why it has the subway. And um, yeah, then this just open, big open map with gonna have the trees and everything like that. Just kind of paint it throughout so you could so every single one of these trees believe it or not you could just hack down and use for wood the bushes are for plant fibers for cloth and stuff like that um, I can get some mining rocks in there for ore and things like that if that's what it is but right now it's getting closer to something that you would see like rust um, and uh, oh that's one of the things people are asking me what was my intentions when I started this project what what did I want and the, the main goal with this project, if I get the game, everything out working the way I want, what I felt was missing, because I got, a, like, my RPGs are down, like, Final Fantasy is great, and um, we got Scarlet Nexus, and a bunch of, there's always good RPGs, I never have any complaints with those. My complaints is with, like, shooters, and sometimes, um, just like survival games in general, so sometimes, like, I'm sitting with the boys, and we want something more challenging. And so we play something like Killing Floor. It's a nice, and I think it's probably one of my favorite zombie games. It is really tense. It's great. And, um, yeah, it's probably one of the my most favorite kind of sh shooters when it comes to killing zombies and stuff. But the problem with that is sometimes the boys aren't there. You know what I mean? You don't have all six people, so you want something to do on the downtime. And that's where a game like, more like Rust or The Forest is where I would actually prefer to play, um... For that kind of like just chill out build your base um kind of thing but i don't know why a game can't have both you know what i mean and that's the main thing with this project i want a game where okay you have a map where the boys are there you go in you do some difficult content you just go storm a whole base and kill everything 
but then you have this uh, another map or maybe even like so what I'm doing is like story maps pretty much where more just something so there's just some maps in there and so there's gonna be a pretty basic map I don't like I said there's gonna be no character creation and all that stuff in this map but if I get it all done because it is a pretty big view and there's a lot of stuff that I've been adding um, is that you have one overall arcing character so whether you're just doing a chill map where you're building a base and defending yourself you're gaining resources you're gaining um, transmogs or like different looks and, and, and weapons and stuff like that and then the boys come and you want to do some difficult content you could carry that to the difficult content you could you're you're using your base to kind of store up on med packs and and stuff like that so when you go to do the difficult content you have a bunch of stuff prepped for it and uh, if you probably went into that difficult content without being prepared you're probably just going to get destroyed you know what i mean like that's the whole point is like so when you have that downtime and the guys aren't there you have something to do and again killing floor it's like okay the guys aren't there well i guess i just can't play the game you know what i mean and then you have the forest well the guys are there there's just nothing difficult for you to do it's more of a relaxing kind of oh uh, well you know what i mean kill stuff build stuff you know what i mean and so that's kind of what i was hoping for is that if everything goes well with this project i want to have multiple maps like i said i'm doing it map based so you have and you could transition and keep your stuff from map to map so you have one map where yeah you just chill you maybe it's just a map you're just building stuff and you go out and get resources and stuff like that and then when the guys are there you have another map that you dive into and that way it could also set difficulty levels right so one map is like nightmare really hard you know what i mean uh another map is a little bit easier again the the better kind of cooler stuff i'm hoping to put in the harder maps so it gives you an incentive to kind of go for that um so some some stuff you could just build some stuff you're gonna have to earn and i mean and that's again the way i'm going to balance that is through community and feedback you know what i mean um yeah i think i've talked enough uh took a lot of your guys time uh thanks for listening uh tell me your thoughts and stuff like that again and uh, I hope to see you next time. Cheers.